Buongiorno, benvenuta alla mia cucina. Oggi facciamo il spincione siciliano. Eppure facciamo il pane, così lo imparate a farlo eh, for Christmas. Okay. Ciao! 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 Okay. Ciao! Today we have a special guest, we have Papa. He's going to assist Mama on making the spincione and the Sicilian bread that Papa makes. Okay? Here we go. Okay, questi sono i cucchiai, cinque cucchiai di liste. E poi due cucchiai di zucchero e due di sale. E poi prima che finisci metto un po' di olio nella farina e fai stare 20 minuti nella macchina per il gelato, ok? Ok, what mama was saying earlier, on the five pounds of flour we have in the mixer, we added five tablespoons of dry yeast, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of salt. Una spoon of olive oil. So mom's gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil into the flour, into the dough. Poi si fa una cagerata così. Oh, yeah. Mamma si può mettere un po' di spegna. Essentially the oil loosens up the dough. So that when we stop, we can pull the dough out. It makes it easier to get the dough out of there. Okay, mama's mixing out the dough now. As you can see. Quanto tempo, mamma? Due, due ore deve rimanere così. So well, mamma said we're gonna have to, we're gonna cover it up for about two hours to let the dough rise. So on the sauce here, we're gonna add a half a cup of olive oil, a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and a six anchovy fillet. Iman. And the reason why we're only adding a teaspoon of salt is because we're adding the anchovies. And the anchovies have a lot of salt in themselves, so. so Papa's keeping an eye on Mama to make sure she's doing the job right. Hey, Papa. How you doing? Very good. Good, good. Very good. Good? good? All right. Okay, Papa. Mama, quanto tempo facciamo cucinare? How long do we have to cook, Mama? Dieci minuti. So around ten minutes we're going to cook this down. And once the sauce is done... And, Perché uh, poi si cucina in un no oven. Mama just said, well, basically, you cook the sauce halfway because it's going to cook again on the pizza in the oven. We're adding the whole peeled tomato. And now we can mash with the spoon. So Mama said you can smash it down with a spoon like she's doing right now. Or also what you can do is put it in a bowl before you add the tomato and basically just crush it up with your hands. So we're gonna let this cook down for 10 minutes. So now mama's making the rolls. Ciao mamma. Ciao. I'm busy. Okay. 
There you go. Then we're going to let them rise for about 30 minutes and then put them in the oven. Mom is stretching out the two pounds of flour for the Svinchone pizza. Two pounds is the right amount. This way it comes out nice and thick. And that's how you want your Svinchone and Sicilian pizza, nice and thick, crispy and crunchy. So once mama's finished stretching out the dough on the tray here, we're gonna wait about 30 minutes to let it rise. One pound of cheese, pecorino. So mama's placing the pecorino <clears throat> cheese, or romano cheese. You can use parmigiano. Romano adds a good flavor. Romano pecorino. And then the breadcrumb. There's a breadcrumb. What's the vegano? Breadcrumbs. It's about a puck of. It's about a cup of breadcrumbs. And then Mama's gonna add the oregano. ready to put in the oven for 20 minutes no maybe 10 minutes okay there it is see you in 10 minutes okay we're back now so as you can see this vinchon is cooked now and mom is going to show you the bottom look at that Nice and thick. That's a spinchone siciliano. Ready to eat. And we have a lunch. And there's the pane, there's a the bread. Homemade bread. And there's a the pizza. Mange, mama, mange. Mange, mange, mange. Okay. I'm just gonna try. Buon appetito. Very delicious. Thank you for Very watching. Good. Mama, ci vediamo. Thank you. I'll see you next week. Arrivederci. Ciao, mama. Ciao, ciao. Buon appetito.